Hey everyone, my name is Dre and I am the host and founder of the Dragon Network. So within the healthcare industry, there's a desire to aggregate and analyze healthcare data to improve patient outcomes. There are codification standards that are used to normalize the data between different entities and between different countries. On today's video, I'd like to take a look at ICD and DRG, which are two of those codification systems. So taking us all the way back to the 1890s, there was a list created to represent the causes of death in the medical or healthcare space. So this list was created to help researchers, to help uh, government officials, to help organizing bodies sort of identify what trends were occurring and how death was being represented in the population that they were serving. So over the years, this list has been modified many times and has actually evolved into what we now call ICD or the International Classification of Diseases. So this particular code set is developed and maintained by the World Health Organization. It is currently translated into 43 different languages and is utilized by more than 100 countries or member states of the WHO. Today, the ICD code set doesn't just focus on causes of death. It actually represents a more holistic view of all the diseases and medical conditions that occur on a global scale. So looking back at the last 10 years or so, you probably heard a lot about the transition from ICD-9 to ICD-10. So ICD-10 was a significant lift for most healthcare organizations. The ICD-10 code set was actually released by the WHO in May of 1990. However, it took about 30 years to get it implemented across the member states for a variety of reasons. One of the biggest reasons is that when it's first released, it actually requires translation into multiple different languages, it's released in English. And it also often spurs additional code sets that need to be developed or adjusted to align with ICD. So the main list that's released by the World Health Assembly doesn't actually include procedures. So there are a number of different countries that break that down and include procedural codes in their ICD breakdowns, the US being one of those. So the US actually makes two modifications to the main ICD code set. So one of those is ICD-CM, which is ICD clinical modifications. And the second is ICD-PCS, which is the procedural classification system. So once the main code set is released, then individuals within that particular country, so in this example, the US, will get to work on actually modifying and delineating out. So Canada also does a modification of the ICD main code set, only Canada just breaks that down into one modification, and that's the ICD-10 CA code set, which contains things that are more applicable and more specific to that country. So in the US, the ICD-CM is maintained by the National Center of Health Statistics, and the ICD-PCS is maintained by the Center of Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. In Canada, the ICD-10-CA code set is maintained by CAIHI, which is the Canadian Institute for Health Information. So the new ICD-11 code set was released in 2018, and all of the member states are actually frantically working to get that code set uh, through its modifications, through its translations, and sort of across its implementing bodies. The first use of ICD-11 within a WHO member state is anticipated to take place in 2022. So another code set that is used very heavily and is actually uh, directly related to the ICD code set is something called a DRG, so the Diagnosis Related Groupers. So the Diagnosis Related Grouper is a name that's unique to the United States, but the whole concept is actually created in many different countries. So Canada has a very similar concept with the Canadian Case Mix Group or the CMG Plus code set. So looking at the DRGs, DRGs were actually created in the 1980s by a couple of professors that worked at Yale. They were actually looking for a way to group inpatients together so they could better manage cost. So the DRGs actually contain a list of ICD codes along with some comorbidities that are put together to form the base of the group. That group is then utilized for cost management purposes, so to bundle payments together and to look at reimbursement models, to do training over time, to look at operational costs and things like that. So when a patient stays in the hospital and is undergoing uh, procedures that are related to diagnoses or they have additional interventions that are associated with their comorbidities, there's often trending that occurs and things that are bundled together, if you will. So things that will occur very frequently for patients who have high blood pressure, but also happen to be diabetic, who are undergoing uh, certain procedures. So with the DRG, those are put together in a group so that they can better manage the cost of that and so that it's not as complicated when trying to actually look at your billing and your payment model or your planning.
So within each DRG or once a DRG is established and once that grouping is put together, there is a typical cost that is associated with the DRG or again in Canada with the CMG plus. So there's a typical cost that's rolled up together and that's what's used for this management costing planning and reimbursement. So this type of model exists in many other countries where they'll take that main ICD code set and actually group it together and list some comorbidities to form groupers of some sort. Again, they're often called something different in different countries, but the concept remains the same across the board. So I hope that gives you a quick idea of what the ICD code set is or the International Classification of Diseases and how DRGs are related to ICD. So if you want to learn more about the ICD codes, you can head to who.int and I'll place that link below. And that's our first video on code sets. So we're going to take a look at some additional code sets in upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification buttons if you want to be notified of when those come out. Have a great rest of your day.